What's going on everyone? Steven here, back with episode 5 in my Cuphead tutorial series. In this one I'm going to jump into some advanced territory and show you how to make it so that your character doesn't get hit by enemies or projectiles or any of that. So you just walk right through them as if they're not even there. Um, and I'm going to be utilizing a whole bunch of different things to do this. Once you know your way around this kind of stuff, <clears throat> these types of hacks are relatively simple to make. Um, but this should give you a good view of the landscape of some ideas that you can utilize. So the first thing that you want to do is find your health address, your player's health address. I've gone ahead and found that. Um, and so what we want to do is, from this point, we want to get hit by an enemy and see... Uh, which instruction writes to that address. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do first here. Let this enemy hit me. Alright, so I have two instructions that write to this address. I'm going to choose this first one here. Go show disassembler. Alright, um, so we are in a subroutine related to you know the player being damaged. Um, having their health take, taken away. And I'm going to go ahead and stop and close this. So because this game is made in Unity, uh, whenever you attach or whenever you open a game process with Cheat Engine, it tries to check a couple of things and see, hey, is this maybe made in Unity? Um, is it a Java-based game? And if so, you'll get some extra menu items up here sometimes. If you see Mono, then that can make your life a whole lot easier. Um, so now that we have found our way here to this instruction, we can actually see some things that have a lot of meaning uh, by activating Cheat Engine's mono features. So let's do that and give it a minute to finish activating. And now we should see some names pop up for some of these addresses. Uh, AKA symbols. If you don't see anything, you might have to go to view and here where it says show symbols or show module addresses, you can enable those. All right, so here, see where this says player stats manager take damage? I mean, that's what the developer has called this. Um, <clears throat> it might not be that simple. In other games, it might be a lot less meaningful, but for us, that's pretty darn meaningful. Uh, but what we want to do now is we want to try to find our way up to a point where basically there is no collision or anything like that. All right. So what we can do, first of all, is um, do a break and trace from this point. And let's see. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a lot more health, say five, so that I can get hit again and I definitely won't die. Um, we're going to do a break and trace and see how far up we can go and look at the names of the subroutines that we end up with then. Um, so you right click on this instruction and you'll say break and trace instructions. And you want to make sure you select step over instead of single step. All right. <clears throat> and now what we'll do is go resume get hit. Your game will freeze like this. All right, and now we can come in here, right click, expand all. All right, so now what we can do is start, you know, this is the point of right here, and then this instruction is this one, and so on and so forth. What it ends up doing is going back to a, a point of execution that it came from when a call happened into the subroutine. So whenever we're here, if we double click, okay, this call is the call to that player stats manager take damage, right? So now we are basically up one level, if you will, before that call. <clears throat> so here we have player stats manager on damage taken, all right? So draw whatever you can from that. Let's go up another level and see what we find on damage taken handler all right let's try another level up we see that again let's try it again 
All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Looks like we're in the same place. Yep. This address is the same. All right. Let's go here. Damage receiver. Take damage. All right. Let's go up another level. We're just looking. We're just seeing what we see over here by these names. What can we infer from that? Player damage receiver. Take damage. All right. Sounds pretty obvious. Let's go up another level. Damage dealer. Deal damage. Interesting. Let's go up another level. Abstract platforming level enemy on collision player. That sounds interesting. Like maybe when an enemy collides with the player, do something, right? That's perhaps the method we're in there. Let's go up another level. Abstract collidable object check collision. That sounds a little more generic. So this could be anything from like your your projectiles colliding with an enemy. Um, some other things that you might not want to affect. Let's go up one more level and see what it says. Got another thing called that. And then we're getting up into some stuff that doesn't make much sense to us. So this is just a good little survey of the landscape, if you will, of, uh, you know, the execution leading up to the point that damage or that our player takes damage. So I'm interested in this point, this damage dealer. Let's see, maybe go up. Player damage receiver take damage. All right. Um, I'm going to assume that this damage dealer deal damage might have more to do with, again, perhaps your projectile or something damaging an enemy as well as something damaging you. So I'm looking at something specific to the player. What you can do here is right click and say select current function. And this will highlight, take you to the top of the function that you're in, this subroutine. All right. So we're at the beginning of it here at this point. Okay. So now what we can do is, this is a uh, function prolog. And so instead of um, coming into this at all, we'll just skip over it. Right. So, this is that player damage. Let's come back to here, and the call before this will be what enters here. So here's this damage dealer. See this call here? Presumably, if we nop this call, let's see what happens. So let's right-click on this and go replace with code that does nothing. Come back in the game. Resume. Look at that no collision at all. So it's like once we've collided, it's not doing anything. Sometimes things like projectiles will still get you. So here we see we're doing just fine with projectiles. None of that is damaging us. Um, what about fall damage? Things like falling off. Let's see what happens there. Can I fall down here? All right, so I took damage there whenever I fell. Oh, we're taking damage there. So could we go up another level? Let's go back here and say restore with original code. Okay, let's come down. Um, maybe we actually want to be a little more specific. Instead of that deal damage, like maybe this call right here is if a an enemy deals damage to the player as opposed to somewhere else within the subroutine is the damage being dealt because of falling. Maybe that's what this call is or something. So instead we try to find, we will this player damage receiver, that's where we can select current function, or you can just follow the offsets back up, you know, to the top of this. And what we can do is do a return here, a ret. So uh, you can either do ret, or, let's see, I like to copy this. Sometimes when I'm playing around, I'll just copy that to make sure. But you can say ret, which will be byte C3. Now, anything that comes into this player damage receiver take damage, 
anything that comes to this point, it will immediately return. All right, so now that we've done that, let's come back in here, go resume. Let's see what happens when I fall. Look at that. No damage. How about projectiles? Are we still good? Looks like we're still all set up with that. And the final test for this will be uh, what happens whenever we interact with bosses. Theoretically, it should be exactly the same because of what we've done with this player. So let's go to exit to map. And let's go down here to a boss. And let's see what happens. This match will get red hot. And begin! All right, so here we have some kind of collision being detected with his projectiles, but it's not doing anything to us. So if you didn't even want that kind of collision happening, you could go even farther back like we were doing, probably around some of those collision methods and do some returns from there or skip some calls, things of that nature. But now we can sit here and just damage the enemy all day long um, and yeah, so presumably what this also means is you could find enemy health and make it to where you could one hit kill them, stuff like that, do different things based on, you know, whatever you find within there, uh, the method, if there is, is one like this for enemies, right? So anyway, now all that you could do is, uh, I'm going to put this back to what it was, and let's say we actually wanted to build a cheat out of that. You could go Tools, Auto Assemble, Template, AOB Injection, say OK. I'm just going to click OK here. All right. Um, and now what we can do is, right here where it says Push EBP, I mean, you could just ret, you know could delete all this. It's not even going to get to any of that. It's just going to return. Um, so, yeah, once it does that, it should be all set. Let's go to File, Assign to Current Cheat Table, close this. Let's, uh, actually, instead of jumping or any of that stuff, you could make your script to where um, you do the AOB scan, and then from this point of inject, you just say ret. And then you don't jump to anywhere or any of that. Then at inject, whenever we disable the script, it'll rewrite its original bytes. That way we're not allocating memory or any of that stuff. So let's say OK. Now let's enable this. All right, there we go come back into the game Let's see what happens here let's get hit by a projectile there we go we're good all right let's disable the script and make sure we can take damage again yep there we go so our script is working just fine so that's a pretty I don't want to say that's easy because you kind of have to know about this stuff to bang it out like this, so to speak. But this is basically a way for you to get rid of anything related to collision where your player is concerned. So the sounds of getting hit, the animation of getting hit, damage. That's annoying. <laughs> um, yeah, all of that. So. If you're interested in seeing it from another perspective, uh, one of my Mafia 3, the, uh, what did I call it, Infinite Health or something like that, the Mafia 3 video I did on that, I also touch on the same sort of topic from a different perspective. Now, if you are trying to do this in a game where you don't have, um, you know, the luxury of having this mono uh, tool to use to make sense of the instructions that you see, um, Basically, you would just take your break and trace, just like we did here, and you would like go up a level, and let's pretend, let's go to view, let's turn off the symbols, 
let's pretend this is all that we have, right? Um, you could double click here, you go up a level, you could select current function, because you see when it's like this, we don't really know where the function begins. If you know what you're looking for, you can go up to look for like a function prolog like this stuff here. Otherwise, you can say select current function and it'll take you to the top there. Uh, and then you can try like doing a ret from here. Make this byte C3 instead of 55. See what happens. Your game might crash. It might not. Depending on what happens, then you go up another level. Right, do the same thing, right click, select current function, it takes you to the top of it, make this byte C3, see what happens. <laughs> it's just a lot of like trial and error uh, hashing that sort of stuff out. So anyway, I think that's about it for this one. Um, yeah, make sure to go check out the other videos in the playlist if you haven't yet. If this stuff is like way over your head, I have a whole tutorial series on Cheat Engine that you can go check out. Uh, so make sure to do that. If you like the video, give it a like. Maybe share it with some other peeps. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll just see you all in the next video. Take care.